glory. Glory. The spirit of the Lord is in this house. Huh? Can you feel God? I know we sang it last night, but just a little bit of we have come into this house gathered in his name to worship him. We
So now, I need you to understand. Oh, oh God, I feel you already. I need you to understand what the agenda for the night is. You didn't come for a concert. You didn't come to look at us. We didn't come to look at you. We didn't come to sing a whole bunch of songs. We didn't come to look cute in all black. All of that is a byproduct. We are here as a voice of one to minister to an audience of one. I'll say it again for the balcony. We are here as a voice of one. And we're here to minister to an audience of one. See, we've gotten confused and we've gotten a little bit discombobulated in this whole idea of what worship is in the corporate setting. It's not our job to sing your favorite song. It's not our job to move you. It's our job to move him. It's our job to worship him. When we lift him up, whatever happens after that, it's on him. It ain't got nothing to do with us. So let me make this disclaimer early. We are not responsible. I don't think they got it, so I'm gonna say it again. We are not responsible for what happens in the house tonight. I do want to tell you this though. You are not bound to your seat. You're not bound to that row. You are free. I feel God. You are free to express yourself in the presence of God because he's already here. The altar is open. If you need to get before God, do what you need to do. If you need to stretch out on the floor, it's plenty of room. If you need to find you a corner, if you need to get you a spot, whatever you need to do, because tonight it's all about his presence. That's it. That's all. The young folk would say, period. Period. My granddaughter would say, period. Nothing else matters. We've got a list of songs to sing. We might make it. We might not. I honestly don't know what's going to happen tonight. All I know is that the desire is for us to have a God encounter. I speak this in the atmosphere. I was watching Bishop last night and Bishop as he was conducting the ordination services and every one of the ordinees he said you nailed down one way but you're going to get up another way he said you got down on your knees as a deacon 
you're rising as an elder. You walk through the door as an individual. You walk through the door tonight as a lay person, as a deacon, as an elder, as a presiding elder, as the bishop, as the missionary to brother. You came in with all of those different titles. But in this moment, only one title matters. You're a worshiper. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. So now I want you to open your mouth and just give him the glory that's due his name. Come on. Let's fill the room. Fill the room. Fill the room. Let's go glory, glory, glory. Y'all feel good? Yeah. Come on, will y'all celebrate this awesome yeah, music right. ministry? <laughs> glory to God.
principle alive. He says, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Look at somebody say, hello us. Hello us. Tonight, we put in the atmosphere the principle of agreement. We agree tonight. I believe everybody in the room agrees that Jesus is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. We do believe in the overwhelming, never-ending power of our God. So tonight, as a demonstration and an expression of who he is tonight, we clap our hands. 
We sing our song, we dance, we move, we shout, we sing, we bow. What we're not gonna do is observe. I said what we're not gonna do. And it's the last time I'm gonna make this statement. Cause I feel God. And I really, really, really just wanna lose my mind in the glory tonight. I just dare somebody just to be released from your seat. The dance floor is yours, Dr. Mack. We can line dance in here for it's over with. I just want to give them glory. Anybody want to give God glory? Hey! My God yeah. is big. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ain't he big? Yeah. So strong yeah. and mighty. Yeah. And his plan yeah. for me yeah. is victory. I'm gonna say it one more time. My God, it's big, so strong, and mighty, and it's plain for me. It's victory. I'm so confident in it because there's nothing my God cannot do that's absolutely positively nothing that my God cannot do y'all ready my God hey One time. Y'all know that song. I want y'all to sing it. I'm deputizing you as a choir member. You missed the rehearsal, but it's all right. We're going to rehearse right now. Y'all give him the part one more time. My God. Y'all listening. Yeah, yeah. What else? Yeah, yeah. And it's playing 
say it like you believe it. What is it? Put them up. Everybody say, my God, my God. There's nothing my God, and there's nothing my God cannot do. Nothing my God cannot do. Nothing my God cannot do. No, 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 nothing, no, 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 nothing. I need you to teach you. I want you to say this. I've got it. I thank God I've got it. I've got it. I thank God I've got it. Say. Let me hear you say victory. I've got it. I thank God I've got it. Everybody say victory. In my hands, I've got it all. Oh, I thank God. In my feet, I got victory. I got it. I thank God. I got it. Hey, victory. I got it. I thank God. I got it. Let me hear you say victory. I got it. I thank God. I got it. Let me hear you say. Can we go to the four? Give it to the four. Hey.
what the Bible says. I got it, I got it. Victory, victory, victory. Victory. I told Satan, get me behind. Victory. Call on that great name. His name is Jesus. Jesus. Precious. Jesus. I have. I heard somebody say that if God be for you, the who doesn't matter. If God be for me, the who don't even matter. Why? Because I've got the victory. Victory. Victory, 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 victory. Come on, everybody, lift your voices to the Lord. Thank you tonight. They messing with me now.
victory. I got the victory. Say it like you got it. I got it. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. I got the victory. I got it. 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 Tonight, I know what you're saying. I've already heard it. But can I help somebody tonight? Whether you want it or not, there's been a shift in Alabama, Florida. You act like you hadn't been hurting. You act like you don't know what it is to get out of your grave clothes. Y'all missed it. You act like you don't want to know what it is to get out of your grave clothes in new glory. I need two or three more people in here tonight. That's not a shame. Yes, I've had some trials. I've had some dark days, but I don't look like what I've been through. My grave didn't take my praise. Come on and put your hands together and tell the Lord thank you. I made it out. I'm trying to move on. But you sit here like you hadn't been through nothing. Some of you came in here tonight with the spirit of trauma on you. Two and a half years at home in front of computers. You disconnected from the world and the world has disconnected from you. But God kept you in your right mind. People are still dying, but you're still here tonight. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Some of your friends and my friends, family members checked out during this process, but the Lord left you here to give him one great praise, and I just need five or six more people that can square your shoulders and say, I'm glad I'm still here. Gotta move. But can you help me? Thank you. 
I'm kind of slow. Will you help me tonight? Will you use about five seconds and think back of how it could have been, but the Lord said it ain't going to be that way? I just need about five seconds. Just That last intersection could have been your last intersection. That last trip should have been your last trip. That last visit to the hospital could have been your last visit to the hospital. Last night could have been your last night. But thanks be to God that he still has a power. I need five or six more thank yous tonight. I can move on. Are there any thank my hearts in here tonight? Tonight, God did it tonight. When my enemies, even my fault, came to eat of my flesh, the scripture says they stumbled and they fell. I like the way you good old, we good old Zion, we can sit around and act like we've had no storms. And some of you, you've had to twist your wig several times the last few months. You've had several prescriptions the last few months. But everything that you've been through, he... Is there any witnesses? for me tonight what a place to drop a deposit what a place to sow a seed tonight when we consider what the Lord has been Terry Cole when we consider Hubert Brown what the Lord has brought us through. <laughs> the best offering you can give tonight is yourself. You missed it. That's the chief gift tonight would be yourself. Tonight as we continue in worship, I challenge you tonight, every one of you that can and will, that you will help us bring it down. Shh, shh, shh. That you will bless us tonight. And help us tonight as we move forward. And finding a tangible gift. One that you don't mind depositing and waiting for a harvest on. Did you hear what I said? A tangible gift. One that you don't mind depositing. So away. And waiting for the harvest on this is harvest you see here tonight this is harvest you here see here tonight and we're thankful for what the Lord is doing but you do know what happened whenever you take a crop out 
You got to refertilize. Make another deposit. Fresh oil. Fresh deposit. And so tonight I ask that you would, that you would join us tonight in giving a gift. Our standard is $25. But tonight I challenge you to allow your seed match your praise tonight. That was a praise moment, amen. Somebody said, well, I don't have the $25, I don't have $100 tonight. Remember what the widow did? <laughs> it wasn't in the coins that she gave, it was the character in which she gave the coins. Tonight the standard is 25, but I'm at us tonight. Help us, those who are giving electronic, cash app, you can give it, dollar sign, A-F-E-D-A-F, -E -A -F. Fire, Alabama, Florida, Episcopal District, Headquarters, PayPal, A-L-F-A, is that Z-A? FLA AM Zion AME Zion it's in, it's in blue I can't see it alright give your coins amen this is our treasure Bless you. the PayPal is A-L-F-L-A-M-E-Z-I-O-N at AOL.com A-L-F-L-A-M-E Zion at AOL.com Thank you, Mother. Amen. Officers are coming now to join with us as we sow our seeds tonight. Yes, please. The baskets are here, brother. Yeah, they, they're right there. No, we ain't going to need a table. We're going to take it and move on. Amen. Amen. Tonight we're praying, God, we give you thanks now for every seed that's being sown. We ask for God, those who understand the gift tonight, if they're giving out of their need, let them never operate in lack. And those who are pouring because they have expectation, let what they release in this atmosphere tonight as their gift come back to some of them 10, 20, even 100 fold. And then God, tonight for those who have a heart to give, and have it not let their praise speak so profound that in their not having someone will sow into their lives because they believe in what they have desire for we ask in the name of jesus amen tonight we thank you for our gifts from dr witherspoon who came through and dr Vil victor wilson who shared tonight we thank you for that gifts and reverend carson amen Elder Morrison, amen. Elder Morrison gave tonight, thank you. Elder Eldrin Morrison, who gave tonight, amen. We're standing all over the sanctuary, amen. Let you move real fast, amen. To the walls, the usher's gonna lead you to the walls and just come right around, amen. Come on, bring it with some victory in you, amen. Bring it with some victory in you, Lord. Come on.
amen, tonight in the spirit of what we've given, amen. I ask that you would all tonight help us consecrate these gifts tonight. I want you to just point your hands this way, amen. Come on, every head is bowed. We're pointing our hands this way. Reverend, please, come on, right here. God, now we ask for a special anointing on these gifts tonight. Some of us gave tonight and made deposited with expectation. So I ask, oh God, now that you would bless the heart of the giver and the head of the giver and open the hand of the giver that they might receive the harvest. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Every believer said hallelujah tonight. Come on, every believer said hallelujah tonight. Amen. Tonight, we thank God for you. Those who were with us earlier today and you've seen this book, we talked about. If you have tonight a desire to receive this book, we have some on hand tonight. You can see us immediately after the concert tonight. Amen. Amen. Visited you with us tonight. Uh, before we go to the second portion of the concert, our visitors are here with us tonight. And our bishop is coming to share with us tonight. Those guests who are among us. We ask that you would come to the front. Our guests who are here tonight, I've seen a number of them moving around tonight, who are coming with a very urgent message, <laughs> some more than others, amen, to come to share with us what God has put on their hearts, amen. And we're waiting, amen, for that. Can you give this choir a praise this night? Come on, you can do better. Can you give this choir a praise tonight? Is there any good thing to come out of Alabama, Florida? Oh, my God. Awesome. You guys are wonderful tonight. Amen. Amen. We thank God tonight. Let us give our bishop a hand of praise. Amen. This visionary, this prophet, amen. We praise God for who and what he is and the gift that God has bestowed in his life. Hear ye, hear our Bishop Crenshaw. Thank you so much. Come on, praise God for this choir one more time. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I want us to leave tonight in worship. Amen. So I want to present our visitors now. I want them to come and share with us now. We want to hear exactly what they want to say to us. And when they finish, we're going to go back to worship so we can leave with worship on our minds. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. I want all persons who are a candidate for any office, would you please come forward at this time? All persons who are candidate for any office, come forward at this time. Amen. Amen. These two gentlemen and all of them who come through are friends. We've been friends for years. We have with us Reverend Gary Adams, the pastor of the Cathedral AME Zion Church in Jackson, Mississippi. And we have Reverend Dr. Keith Harris, presiding elder of the Loving Long Island District from the New York Annual Conference. Now, they're going to decide who's going first. They're going to speak to us. I want you to hear clearly what they have to say. And after they finish, we're going to be back in the hands of our Minister of Music. Would you give both of them a good hand of welcome? Amen. Y'all decide who's going first. Thank you, Bishop. Reverend Adams decided that I was going first because he went first this morning. <laughs> I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, who is also called the Christ. Amen. To my friend and brother, Bishop George Crenshaw, Missionary Supervisor Crenshaw, and the members of the Alabama, Florida Episcopal District, it is good to be here in this place that I've heard so much about from the late Bishop James E. McCoy and Mrs. Shirley McCoy. I come to you to offer myself as a candidate for the Office of Episcopacy in the AME Zion Church. I am a son of the Mother Conference. I was born in the cradle of Zion from First AME Zion Church, I was baptized by Bishop Reuben Lee Speaks, and went into my, to the ministry under the late Bishop James E. McCoy. So I have a little McCoyism in me. <laughs> I 
want you to know that I'm asking the church to aim high. And in order to aim high, we must examine our accountability, our integrity, and our ministry focus. I'm challenging us to examine how we make disciples, to energize the church to live and act according to the scripture and let holiness be our standard. To also embrace change so that we will be prepared to minister to a culturally diverse society. And finally, to embody the courage to affirm specialized ministry in the AME Zion Church. Our ministry should be inclusive, not exclusive. And we have to mind who we bring to the table to make that inclusive. Talking about young adults and women in ministry. Again, I'm asking you to consider me. I need your prayers, your support, and your votes. Not necessarily in that order, but I'll take what I can get any way I can get it. <laughs> Remember, to aim high with Harris. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Thank you so much. Amen. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. May I ask you to excuse my mask? Uh, I'm not wearing it for medical conditions. I tripped the other day and I have a couple of stitches. And that way, I don't want to expose it, and I don't want you to see the ugliness of it as well. Okay? Uh, but we're almost healed. Uh, the stitches are done. I think by tomorrow we should be good. But again, to uh, Bishop Crenshaw, missionary supervisor, to our presiding elders, our pastors, and to all of you who are part of this Alabama, Florida Episcopal District, my name is Gary D. Adams, Sr., and I'm the pastor of Cathedral Amy Zion Church in Jackson, Mississippi. I want to do something that my mama would spank my hands if I didn't do. And before I ask for anything, I've learned to say thank you for what you've already done. I want to thank you for your help for the water crisis in Jackson, Mississippi. Amen. I want to thank you for that because you have helped us and blessed us through that endeavor. I stand before you tonight offering myself as well as a candidate for the Episcopacy. After 34 years of ministry, here I stand, feeling inspired in my heart to follow the plan I believe that God has for my life. I desire to be a blessing to our Zion through the efforts and works that I've already done in ministry. If you will look over my resume, you will find that I'm a church planter. I've helped other pastors and churches who have been organized and wanted to do planting. If you look over my resume, you discover that there is a learning institute that we've utilized to train ministers and leaders in our church and in our denomination and in our community who desire to learn and to grow, who is afraid of seminary but understand the need to be trained and to become more efficient in their roles. Also, in integrity, my thing is I like to do God's business God's way. Because God has principles that goes with promises. And we want the promises of God. And my platform theme is that of Nehemiah. Where Nehemiah says to the people, do you not see the desert condition that we're in? How the walls of Jerusalem lie in ruin. And this is the catchphrase. Let us arise and let us do this work together. That is the strategic planning that I've used. Not being the one that have all the ideas. Honestly, I've gone into the room with a great idea and left out the room with not that idea being performed. Why? Because the community in which we work with had something better. Economic empowerment. This year, Cathedral Church, in eight years of service, has no debt because we had a plan for economic empowerment. I said this morning, if you're watching Facebook, my wife now is doing a 21-day journey to financial freedom. I am also certified as a financial counselor for groups these are the strategies, these are the tools, these are the resources that I have used in 34 years of ministry that God has blessed. If you follow the story of Nehemiah, he'll say that I didn't do it. He'll say I didn't do it, but God has blessed these hands. And I say to you tonight, I say to you tonight in humility, the things that I've done, I have not done them alone. But I've been able to collaborate with people 
like yourself to help God work to shine. I ask you tonight to arise with Adams and let us build together in 2024. Bishop, thank you. And Alabama Conference, Florida, thank you as well. Come on, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to take a point of personal privilege and thank, I'm calling him my bishop. And my missionary supervisor. I have grown to love Bishop and Lady Crenshaw. And they took a chance, sight unseen, on a big dude from Mobile, Alabama, who made a whole bunch of noise and caused the ruckus at the minister's retreat. <laughs> and it just seems like we've been connected ever since. I have not seen my friend, Dr. Thaddeus Steele, but I do want to acknowledge him because he was the conduit that made the connection. And I am very, very, very grateful I do feel like I am home in Zion. Amen. I have. <laughs> Ooh, that's my mo my my my, my mobilian. Listen, I know what you're talking about, man. <coughs> I hear you though, because you know they say closed mouths don't get fed. <laughs> I have an adopted big sister in the person of Dr. McFadden. And she acts like it too. <laughs> but I must say thank you to my brother my friend I do believe that the, the Lord brought us together for such a time as this and that is Mother Strickland we have <coughs> had the opportunity to ride up and down the highway together we've hung out together had a barbecue together, <laughs> chilled out at Chili's together, and God has allowed us to share some things heart to heart with each other. And I'm grateful to have him in my life. He is a covenant brother, and I'm glad to say that when I call him, he answers the phone. I appreciate you, brother. Blessings on you, sir. Uh, I'm trying to do like Bishop said. Let's get all this preliminary stuff out of the way because when we get back into worship, we're going to stay in worship. Will you please, please, please help me celebrate this incredible band. These gentlemen, these minstrels, have just come in here and just smashed, just demolished, tore it all down, built it back up, and then tore it down again. Um, my this is the first time I've really had the opportunity to work with them completely, but I have to acknowledge my little brother. This young man uh, is, he is he's music ministry and the hand of the Lord is on his life 
Jacoby Ray. I mean, this dude is amazing. And Jacoby and I have been rocking together for about five or six years. And I'm grateful that when I called him, he said, yeah, Doc, I'm there. Let's do it. He turned down some things to say, bro, I want to be here with you. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Zion, I'm here to tell you, there is a new sound in Zion. Now, you can take it for what it's worth, but I have been released. I understand the assignment. I understand the assignment. I know what the Lord has spoken in this hour. And I just pray. We're just going to believe God. There is a shift. The shift isn't taking place. The shift has already taken place. To this amazing choir. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for you, for us. I'm just excited to be a part of it. You guys have done an amazing job. Some people just became a part of the choir today. Boy, can you imagine what's going to happen when we get some rehearsals on our belt for real? Yes, sir. Oh, it's going to be good. I dare not move any further without acknowledging the most beautiful girl in the world. She is the harmony to my melody. She makes my minor chord major. She's the resolution to all of my dissonance. She's the metronome that keeps me on the right beat. She is the best part. The Bible says, he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtains favor from God and man. We have been co-conductors in this symphony called life for 12 years. And every day is sweeter than the day before. And I'm going to ask, I don't, just, I don't just want her to stand. I want you to come up here because I want people to see you. This is my life partner. This is my boo. This is my baby. This is Elder Pamela Brandon. If I didn't think she'd clip me at the kneecaps, I'd get her the same, but I ain't going to do it. <sighs> I told y'all I felt like I was at home, so now this is what you do when you're at home. I listen to the way Bishop talks about his good thing. I listen to the way all the other bishops and pastors and stuff talk about they good thing. So I feel like I talk about my good thing. And seeing that I am the maestro, well, that's what they say. I'm just grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I understand that this is the first time that there has been a concert in the middle of convocation. 
that says a whole lot. The theme of this year's experience is lifting the standard. Lifting the standard in worship. There is nothing that we can do outside of the presence of God. We can preach, we can prophesy, we can proclaim, we can promise, we can lay hands, we can quote scripture. But if his presence isn't here, we just make a noise. And I'm like Moses, God, if your presence doesn't go before you, go before me, I ain't going. I want to be where he is and I don't want to be where he's not. And so as we move into this second phase of this worship experience, let's just honor him. All the business has gotten out of the way. We ain't got nothing else to do. But declare, O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Come on, just open your mouth and bless him. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't just clap your hands. I want you to open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Well, you know, choir, I might need your help. Come on, you open your mouth and let's give him glory. Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent is your name. We bow at your feet. Lord, we reverence your holy name. For the angels bow before you. And heaven and earth adore you. Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent is your name feel good. I'm going to say it again. Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent is your name. We bow at your feet and we reverence your holy name. bow before you and heaven and earth adore you Ooh, oh, oh, oh Lord how God how excellent is your name we ready yeah
It's an excellent name. Now, my testimony is I haven't always been where I am right now. I'm guilty of exploring options. I tried this, I tried that, read this, listened to that, I drunk this, I didn't smoke that, but I chose drunk it. I, 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 I did do this, and I did do that. But then I messed around. And I found a pair of nail scarred hands. And I realized that those hands were bigger than my this. They were bigger than my dad. They could handle all of my this and all of my that. So I decided to put it all in his hands. My question to you tonight is that do you have a this or a that? What'd you do with it? Anybody ever put it in his hand? And the cool thing about putting stuff in his hands is that once you put it there, you ain't ever gotta take it back. Somebody shout, I put it all in his hand.
there's a freedom that comes with putting it all in his hand. When I recognize that I don't have to worry about stuff. I don't have to sweat the small stuff. Because it's all small stuff. Every bit of it is small stuff.
So tonight as we prepare to leave, we leave answering the call of Zion. Zion is calling me to a higher place of praise. Hallelujah. To stand upon the mountain and to magnify his name. To tell all the people of every nation that he reigns. It's calling me to a higher place of praise. It's calling me to a higher place of praise. To stand up on the mountain, the mountain, and to magnify. Nation. Zion is calling. It's calling me. If you're going to answer the call, will you stand up with us tonight and say, Zion? It's calling me to a higher place. He's calling me to stand on the mountain and to magnify. Just declare tonight, say, I'm going to answer Zion's call. Come on, y'all remember the praise we said? Say, Zion is calling. Oh, God. 
tonight. Just standing on our feet. All over the sanctuary and tradition of our church. Tonight we would be remiss if we would just assume everybody has what you have. I'm going to invite some pastors just come and stand with me. Elders, you know, just come stand this way. Amen. Thank you for those who understand what's going on. Come on and stand with us. Tonight, thank you. We can't be presumptuous. So the invitation tonight is that you would lose yourself long enough to give yourself to the Lord. Get past everything that's going on with you. If you aren't sure that when you call, he answers. It's so urgent tonight that we would that no man be lost. So if you're not sure where you are with him, this time is yours. Lord, here I am. And I'll tell you tonight, he like incomplete projects. <laughs> A mess. He specialized in incomplete projects yes, sir. and in a mess. Yes, I like many, one day I was a mess. Yeah. But I heard a message that sent me to a man who performed a miracle. Yeah. And tonight we offer that same opportunity to you, wherever you are. It's so urgent to us tonight that we're willing to walk with you to this altar to let you know that after you've made this journey, you will no longer walk alone. For every time, that will be a, a companion with you. Tonight, if you don't know Jesus, and if you pardon of your sin, we offer him to you tonight. The Zion is calling. Are you here tonight? Are you here tonight? God bless you. May he keep you. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Our right, academic dean is coming. I would say before you sit that the invitation has been given to you for Christ. But we've not seen each other in two and a half years. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. We've lost some folk along the way. Yes. We've been estranged from some folk along the way. We've experienced hurt in the church, in the house, in the community, and in the world. And my invitation to you is that these elders are coming back that if the you need prayer why would we come to a convocation and not pray for you or pray with you do not leave the same way you came can I be transparent life's been hard and why you don't have to walk it alone because Jesus is with you, sometimes you need a human companion to go along the journey. And so if you need prayer, if you just want to come to the altar, if you just want to pour it out, if you just want to release it here, I invite you to come. As many of us gave Jesus our life a long time ago. 
But prayer, you can never get enough prayer. And I dare not let us leave without giving you that opportunity to pray. Have somebody pray with you. All right, I done done my job. Thank you. Ah. And the young shall lead the way. Will there be another? Is there another? Come on, come on, come on. Elders, come, pastors, come. there others come it's not too late
continue to worship. May the Lord go with you in peace. May you leave as God releases you. But we own this. So you may stay as long as you want. But you gotta go. Go without blessing. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 8.30 for the missionaries and 9 o'clock for everybody else. Be blessed. Travel safely. Continue to worship.